Welcome back to my YouTube channel where we explore the different aspects of emotional and mental well-being. Hi everyone. Now a lot of people talk about self-love but not many people know how to cultivate this self-love and find that inner peace. So what is it? First of all and foremost, let's define the concept of what it means. It is the foundation of our overall well-being and sets the tone for all other relationships in our lives. You see, understanding and nurturing our relationship, the one we have with ourselves, is essential for personal growth and happiness. It's all about feeling content and grateful for who you are and what you're about. And I believe that self-awareness plays a very crucial role in maintaining a strong, healthy um, self-relationship and that care for yourself. You see, by understanding our thoughts, our emotions and our behaviors, we can embark on a journey of self-discovery and transformation. Self-awareness is all about knowing what you're experiencing, knowing what triggers you, knowing what your symptoms are, and overcoming that self-criticism. It's one of the most valuable lessons I've learned personally, and I know the importance of it as a therapist as well. Letting go of self-judgment is key. So it's time to replace that self-criticism with that self-compassion and self-love by embracing our imperfections and accepting ourselves fully, we can experience a profound shift in our self-relationship. You see, forgiveness is key. We are all beautifully imperfect and that's what makes us human. So let's learn to embrace our imperfections and develop a positive self-image. That is self-love by celebrating ourselves and seeing our flaws as opportunities for growth and self-acceptance. We can nurture a healthy self-relationship. We can nurture that self-love. You see, as I mentioned earlier, the foundation of a healthy relationship is whether it's with yourself or, or others is self-love. If you practice self-care, setting those boundaries and engaging in positive affirmations, prioritizing yourself and showering yourself with the love that and care that you want to share with everyone else around you. That self-care is not selfish, it's a necessity. So let's emphasize the importance of self-care in maintaining our mental, emotional and physical well-being by incorporating practices like meditation, mindfulness, and also self-reflection, we can really nurture our self-relationship and find that inner peace and that love. And finally, your happiness should not depend on external factors or validations from others. You should find that true happiness from within yourself. That also is self-love, that self-validation finding joy in your own accomplishments and growth. It doesn't matter how big or small they are. When you're seeking approval from others, you're not really being authentic. You've got to be authentic to yourself. Trust yourself, have that introspection, self-reflection. And even if it's spiritual practices, whatever it is that deepens your self-relationship and you find that true fulfillment, it's when you fill yourself with that peace of mind of knowing that you deserve the best. You are valuable, you're worthy, you're good enough, and all these things come into play.